Hi, Jonathan. I recently read the chapter about dreams in your brother's book. I think that chapter was the soundest thing I read on the topic, but I'm struggling to relate those dream interpretations with the outside world. I get the idea that not having enough heaven would mean a lack of heavenly guidance, that our passions are taking over or something like that. But what does it mean to not have enough body? Can you give some examples? Or am I looking at this the wrong way? Uh, well, I've given a few examples of not having enough body. Uh, utopia utopia is, is the best example of not having enough body or not being capable of manifesting in body. And so, and so you, you have something which is too high and doesn't, does, can't land in the world, can't really find a body, you know, and so you imagine uh, people who have, let's say, extreme conspiracy theorists also, let's say they, they, they don't have enough body. And so they have these ideas about the world and they have an idea about the way that the world works. And they, they end up kind of floating in these ideas. And then they, they, they try to they connect things below, but they, they don't totally connect. And so they're, they're actually not really connected, but they really want to see them as being connected. And so, you know, anything, any idea that doesn't have enough instantiation in the world is something that doesn't have enough body, right? Let's say a false scientific, uh, a false scientific theory will end up not having enough body in order to be real. It'll, it'll just kind of float up into the air and won't, and won't land. Um, so those are a few examples. Um, and I mean, like an example in your life, because I see you're trying to relate it to your life is, is of course, the idea of having ideals that are too high, right? It's, a, it's like, okay, so to, I'm going to stop smoking tomorrow, right? You've heard that kind of stuff. I'm going to, I'm going to start exercising next week, and I'm going to do it every day. And I'm going to do it for an hour a day. And then nothing happens, right? Those are not having enough body. Those are having ideas that don't land and don't, don't manifest themselves. And you meet people like that who have projects, who always have wild, huge projects, you know, uh, someone who wants to be a writer, you know, this is a great example. Someone who's like, oh, I'm, I want to write novels. Like I want to write novels. And then you ask them like, uh, so have you, you know, have you written some short stories? Have you written a few smaller texts and maybe you've tried to publish? Have you, have you worked on the, the let's say, uh, just the outline of your novel? And it's like, no, but I want to write great novels. Like I want, I want, to, I want to be a great author. I want to be the best author. But they're not willing to put in the like little work that you need to do to kind of get there. And so they just end up being these lofty dreams that never land and never, never make, never uh, become anything. Everybody has both met people like that and also have had those in their life themselves. So 